What's up, guys? It's episode three of the vlog. Um, this week, I'm gonna. Uh, I knew I told you guys I was gonna answer questions, but um, and I got tons of questions from you guys. Uh, but there's something more important that I kind of want to cover today, and that's more about my brand, and that's more about how I got to this point, and what I'm doing, where I want it to go in the future, the Simone Baseball Performance brand, where I want it to go, and so forth. Because um, a, lot, a lot of you guys have been asking me about my playing career, how I got to this point, etc. So I kind of want to cover that today. Because um, this is important. And, uh, it, it, and I know it's a good time to talk about this because I know a lot of you guys are um, going through tryouts and stuff right now. So... Um, yeah, let's get into it. I, I kind of want to cover my playing career first and then, um, cause that's, I mean, that's how I got into all this, this whole Simone baseball performance thing. So, um, and let's just start in seventh grade. I mean, I didn't really play organized baseball till I was probably like 10 or 12. Um, and then seventh grade was like one of my first couple years playing. Um, I wasn't very good and I got cut as a seventh grader on the mod, uh, trying out for a modified team. Um, you know, I was, was kind of upset because I, I love baseball and, but, but I, I, I grew up with it. So it was something I knew I had to keep doing. I knew I had to try out in eighth grade. Um, when not a lot of kids were going back out, I had to go back out and try again. Um, so I worked hard and tried to improve my game. It was my first ever like moment of failure, I guess, in my life. So, um, yeah, so, so I worked hard and in eighth grade, I, uh, you know, all my friends were there playing and. I thought it would be awesome to play, so and I thought I was better because I worked a little bit in the off season and ended up getting cut in eighth grade again. Um, I was really crushed, you know. And then I I came with my room and I kind of just made a vow to myself that, you know, I wasn't gonna let that happen again. So, um, yeah. So so eighth grade I got cut and then. Um, uh, next year I went out again ninth grade everybody's like oh you're gonna go out again so so you know I mean a lot of kids a lot of kids quit when they got cut in seventh grade a lot of kids quit again when they tried out again in eighth grade and I came back again so I just wasn't letting I was gonna let some coach dictate my future I knew I wanted to play I knew I could get there so I worked even harder after I got cut in eighth grade ended up making the ninth grade team and eventually to make a long story short in high school um my senior year, I got drafted by the uh, Milwaukee Brewers in 2010. Seems like forever ago. It was like seven years ago. I can't believe that. Seems like it was yesterday. But um, yeah. Um, but every year, I, I mean, I, I got better. I learned more. Got stronger, bigger, faster. Um, kept reading more books to educate myself, and you know, I just didn't accept no as an answer from anybody along the way. There was a lot of coaches, a lot of. Um, a lot of coaches. I don't want to name names or anybody like that, but there's uh, pretty much every coach that I played for, for the most part, like 90% of them didn't um, have told me I wasn't good enough or et cetera, et cetera. Um, so anyway, now moving to college. I went to University of West Alabama, which is a D Division II school down south in the Gulf South Conference. Um, I'm just looking at my paper here. That's why I'm looking down, guys. Um, Kind of, I just wrote like bullet points on them, kind of go off, not going off those, but uh, yeah, my first year, um, it was my first year in college baseball. Um, I, I guess I probably should have redshirted. I didn't really know what to expect. Um, we had really good players. We had some transfers, some like Ole Miss, really good JUCO transfers, um, and I, uh, I only got like three at bats. It was. It was a bad year, you know, I wanted to play more, but um, a lot of kids were pretty good, better than I expected when I got there. Um, second year, I came back, I, I was determined to play this year, because I knew the uh, majority of the team was seniors, they all left, so I knew this was my chance. There was a spot open in left field, and I was ready to take it over. I worked hard all summer, I played summer ball, I did really well against good competition. I came in the fall, worked really hard, had a great fall. Um, in the off season, I worked every single day. I mean, there probably was maybe like two days I took off, maybe. I was working there Christmas night, I, I was working. So um, I worked my ass off. Um, January came around, um, that's when we, we went back to school and we inter squad January like six or something. We play our first game February 1st. Um, so we inter squad for like a month and I knew that was the another 
moment where I had to just dominate on the field to play, um, and I did. I hit. Uh, I remember like the first couple. I was, I was hitting. I was roping the balls, playing good D. Hit a grand slam, like um, hit a grand slam, and um, I, I, I should have been. I knew I was going to play. I was beating the other guy out that I was playing with every every step of the way. Um, and uh, the sec, uh, the first game of the year rolls around, and my one of my best friends that was playing shortstop, they moved him to left field, where that spot was, and I was really pissed because I just figured, you know, this guy doesn't believe in me. Like, is he ever gonna give me opportunity? I dominated. Like, does he not want to win? Like, I don't understand. I didn't understand it. I was so mad. And um, the second the second game came around, and he actually started me, and uh, it was the only game of the year that we got really crushed. Um, so in like the third inning, he took out all the starters, which was me, one of them. I so I got like two at bats. I got hit by a pitch and I struck out. And uh, you know, he I got eight at bats like the rest of the year. I never started again. It was it was a joke. I was I was so pissed. And the, re the big reason I transferred there, yeah, it was it it was really down. It was far down south, but um, all my best friends were at that school. We, um, my buddies, if they're watching, Luigi, my boy, Adam. Matthew, Eric, all my boys down there, Mitch, um, you know, it was hard leaving them because they were one of my, re they were re my really good friends and, um, but, but I wanted to play and I was pissed at, um, the coaching staff down there. Um, I, I'm not trying to bash them, but, um, I just feel like I should have gotten a better opportunity than I did. So I transferred after that because I wanted to play, like I said, and my only option was division three school because I couldn't transfer to Division One or Division Two school without sitting out a year. So I transferred to a school in Pittsburgh, and uh, those are the best two years of my college career by far. Um, I did have some great times down south, but um, playing and winning, um, playing every day and winning every day was just, there's nothing like it. And uh, I'll never um, be able to, um, repay uh, coach at LaRoche College, the school I went to, Chase Rowe, giving me the opportunity to play, play there and play every day. He believed in me. From the moment I talked to him on the phone, I knew that was where I wanted to go and keep playing. And uh, I was a two-time all-conference performer there. I met some lifelong friends, some of my best friends there. Um, you know, um, and, uh, you know, after that, I... Uh, I went to uh, a couple of pre-draft workouts. Um, I went to Blue Jays one, uh, Brewers one, Reds one, and a what's my last one? Twins. I went to two Twins uh, pre-draft workouts and did pretty well. Um, but by far, um, the Blue Jays, the Blue Jays one, I did unbelievable. I don't know how I played so good. Honestly, like it was the best I ever like played in one day. Um, I ran a six four two, which was the fastest sixty I ran. Um, the fastest one I ran before that was like a six, um, like a six, 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 seven. I ran a six, four, two there. Um, I hit really well. We played the inner squads. I hit a couple home runs in games. I wasn't expecting that. Um, facing good pitching, facing really good pitching. Um, and then, uh, and, uh, you know, um, the, they, they contacted me. Um, after the draft, the Blue Jays, and not that I was expecting to get drafted or anything, but they contacted me and said, you know, we we didn't want to draft, we can't draft you. Obviously, you're an older guy, um, but we want to bring you down to Florida um, to mini camp where they bring all the non-drafted free agents they sign and the draft picks they get. And um, we wanted, to, they said we want to bring you down, see what you can do. Um, if you can, like, we like what you saw, we like what we saw at the pre-draft. If you can keep playing and show that we probably will keep you but we want to give you a chance we want to sign you to whatever non-drafted free agent contract so me I freaking I was ready to go that day so uh, I flew down the next day um, um, and you know a couple weeks went by down there and they ended up signing uh, some of their high school drafts they didn't think they'd sign and they were happened to be outfielders so there's like eight outfielders on the team and obviously I'm not the priority because I'm 22 23 years old however old I was so I uh <laughs> I was released. I went home, flew back home to Syracuse, and emailed every independent league team I possibly could, um, every pro team, just trying to get an opportunity somewhere with anybody. And uh, nobody, you know, nobody returned my emails. Nobody, you know, wanted me. So, uh, you know, I, I just used that all as I'm going to show these guys wrong. I'm going to play. 
all I need is one opportunity. So I just worked my ass off all summer, trained hard seven days a week, six, seven days a week, hit every day, just did everything I needed to do. And then, um, and then uh, the fall rolled around, I'm still emailing people and um, a couple independent league teams that saw me play at some of the pre-draft workouts knew I was decent, pretty good. So they um, told me to play in this California Winter League so they could look at me over an extensive period of time, over a month. So I played in that, um, did really well. I led the league in hitting. I think I batted like 480 or something like that. Killed it, stole a ton of bases. And they, uh, I got a contract offer from Washington Wild Things of the uh, Frontier League. So um, they offered me a contract and that was everything I wanted. Um, finally got a professional team to believe in me, give me a chance. and. Um, I mean, once I got to that point, that was, um, I mean, that was the pinnacle of everything, I guess you would say. Um, I played with the Wild Things for like two to three weeks. Um, ended up not working out there. I, I kind of, my mind was just on helping kids and, and getting into more and getting into this kind of stuff. Cause I was, I was already seeing like how I was, um, helping so many kids just by barely really doing much, but. I, I was already seeing some results of helping kids. I think I already started my Instagram page. Um, it was like really young and it's um, when I started it. But um, I was just helping kids and I was seeing where I could go with it and how much impact I could make with these kids and that's where my heart was. Um, I was always into training. I was always reading guys like Charlie Francis and um, you know Joe DeFranco and Eric Cressy and um, I was always into training, and that's what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to do it. That was my other love, and uh, yeah. When baseball's over, that's what I jumped into, because that was my other dream was just, um, you know, impacting you guys. So that that's kind of my story, how it got to this point. Um, you know, what I'm trying to do with Simone Baseball Performances right now is just providing you guys with the best best content I can possibly provide you with and help your game the best I can. Whether that's I'm training you one-on-one -on -one or online or through my content on Instagram, Snapchat, whatever I'm giving you guys. Um, you know, that's my goal. I just want to provide you guys the best, con the best content I can possibly give you, the content I wasn't given as a kid. And uh, yeah, that and I just want to inspire you guys. I know you guys are going to tryouts right now. Some of you guys are going to get cut, some of you guys aren't, but I mean the guys that you get cut and you love baseball, I, I say don't give up, I say keep going, um, don't let a coach or anybody else dictate your future. Um, you know, if you want something bad enough, you can work hard, you can get it. Um, I know it sounds cliche, but um, you know how many coaches told me I couldn't play? You know how many co coaches, if, if, I, if I stopped in 7th seventh and 8th seventh and grade, um, can you imagine, I mean, I played after that, I played in college and I played, I got a pro contract. And a guy in seventh grade told me I couldn't play eighth grade. Like, come on. If somebody tells you you can't play when you're that, that young and you don't try again the next year and you don't keep working hard to get there, I mean, I don't know. But, I mean, if you do, I mean, you, you, I'm, what I'm starting to say is if you get cut in high school or seventh and eighth grade, don't use it as, don't, don't just quit. I mean, you can do it. You can definitely do it. You just have to work hard, and if it's something you want, you'll get it no matter what. Prove everybody wrong. That's kind of what my brand is like based off. I train a lot of athletes have been told they weren't good enough, um, and a lot of a lot of them they were told they were undersized, they weren't good enough, they weren't this that, and they all made it. They're all making it. They're all playing college baseball. Um, shoot, Joe DeLuca, the kid I trained, wasn't was it got cut his uh, 11th and 12th grade year in high school and he's playing four years of college baseball and he was on draft boards his sophomore year like come on are you kidding me can you imagine if he stopped like keep going guys come on so that's what I kind of want to do that's what I want to do I want to inspire you guys and that's kind of where I want to go um, and I gotta just say I appreciate everything you guys are doing for me sharing my content um, you know, inspiring more people. That's all I want to ever do. So, um, the more you can spread my word and help, and I, the more I can help more people, the better. And, um, I can't thank you guys enough for doing that for me. And, uh, 
there's anything you need from me, just DM me, email me, um, and I'll help you guys out, whatever you need. But uh, stay tuned. Keep following me. I got awesome content coming and uh, more ways to help you guys game and dominate this year. So, um, yeah, that's it. That's episode three. Stick with me. Got more episodes coming. Going to spring training in a couple weeks. Going to check in with some of our athletes, get some sick interviews with some other pro baseball guys. So stay tuned. Episode three, done.